Hello and welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studio. Studio. I'm Lee. And I'm Jeremy. Yes, you are. Just in case you didn't know, this is Jeremy. <laughs> and um, thank you for joining us for another episode. This is episode number 46. It is. Last episode, which you just guys, you hopefully just watched, was our Who Did It Better? Thank you for all the comments. Please keep commenting if you haven't already. Let us know who you felt did a better job. It was a wrecked ring or a split uh, or a Dutch pour. Dutch pour. Um, so, yeah, please um, go and comment and thank you so much for that. Um, on to this episode. Yes. Number 46. Um, I picked the colours this time. You did. Um, we've got a back to probably a more regular palette for us of mm. blues, blues and greens and golds and blacks and whites. Yep. Um, so, I'm really excited to see what you do with those. And, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to pull out a technique, or Jeremy's going to pull out a technique, that you haven't seen but once on the channel. Mm -hmm. And it's actually one of our most popular videos. Yeah. So we probably should have done this again at some point. And we're doing it today. It is the Leaky Cup. Yes. Thank you so much to Fiona Art for watching Jeremy do a Leaky Cup and then kind of taking it to a whole other level on her right. channel. She did like four or five of them yeah. that were pretty awesome. Um, so Jeremy wants to try his hands at the Leaky Cup again. I know, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited because I'm really excited about these colors. I am too. The colors are stunning. That Last time we did the Leaky Cup, it was like 20 episodes ago. It was. And we were still kind of playing around with colours. Yeah. I feel like we've, we've got a, a lot more cemented in our minds now as kind of what works and what doesn't. Yes. And we've got another 20 episodes deep, you know. So, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens. I have been requested to break out the old split cup again, but this time with the lazy Deborah. And um, I'm going to try some kind of rings, straight rings, not... Sorry, straight pour, not ring pour. Yes. So that's what I'm going to try with the same colours. It's going to be beautiful. I will see. <laughs> I'm not promising anything until we pour. Um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please click the thumbs up button. We appreciate you, every single one of you. We hope you had a really great Thanksgiving week. Back to a normal week and now a countdown to Christmas which I'm very excited about. Oh my gosh, I love Christmas. We've, we've, we do love Christmas so much that we put our tree up like four weeks ago. So uh, <laughs> we've, been, we've been joyful and triumphant for a little while already. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe. Mm. Thank you for watching. Um, let's get to pouring. Absolutely. Yeah, should we do this? Yeah. Let's pour. All right, people, thank you for joining me. It is Lee. This is going to be my pour. As you can see, I have my lazy Deborah all set up and also I have my mixed media girl split cup here it's the three channel cup that I'm using this is the 14 ounce cup I believe let me introduce you to the colors we've got some really awesome colors here so first off one that we've never used before it is the deco art extreme sheen but it's the emerald green it's beautiful I'm so excited to give that one a go and sticking with the greens one of our dearest friends' favorite color. It is the Pearl Pistachio by Arteza. One of my favorite colors. I knew Jeremy was gonna say that because he loves it too. <laughs> then we have two Amsterdam colors. We've got the Amsterdam Phalo Blue and the Amsterdam Light Blue. So you can see we've gone for like a dark green, light green, dark blue, light blue. Then we also have the metallic and this is Charcoal Black by Folk Art. So this is another metallic color. And then we also have the Deco Art 24 karat gold. It's another metallics, which is here too. Now my pouring consistency is, it's 25% Liquitex, Liquitex gloss medium. It's 25% acrylic paint, whichever one you choose, and then 50% Floetrol. So you can see it's, it's got a thick consistency to it. It's mounding and then disappearing. So that's my consistency for all my paints. 
Um, okay, so first I'm going to layer my slip, split cup and then I'm going to flood my canvas. People out there flood canvases or don't flood their canvases whenever they're doing split cups. I just prefer to have the paints slip and slide. So I will be actually doing a really light flood coat on the whole of my canvas, which is our Blick White. Don't forget people, we're a Blick affiliate. Um, they have some really amazing deals on that are still hanging over from Good Friday. So if you want to get your hands on any of the Goldens, the Liquitex, the Blick Paints, the Gloss Medium, the Sargent's Pearl Medium, you can grab them all through the link in our description box and um, they generally have some really, really great deals. So um, please go check it out. And finally, Jeremy and I are both using 16 by 16 ounce canvases. These are the Etch, one and a half inch deep by Jerry's Artorama. And we love these canvases. Um, Michael's had a really great deal on for, for um, the Thanksgiving week, which was 70% off. When that sale isn't going ahead, these Jerry's Artorama canvases we found to be the cheapest. And you can get them at jerrysartorama.com. All right, enough waffle. Without further ado, let's get layering this awesome split cup. So let's do this first. Um, I've got six colors. I've got light and dark green, light and dark blue, and then a black and a gold. So I'm going to layer my cups in that kind of fashion with the light and the dark green, the light and the dark blue in one channel, and then the black and the gold in another. So without further ado, I'm first off going to start with a small layer of the gold. And it's a small layer because this is the color that's gonna come out at the very end of the pour. Then I'm gonna to top that with gold. Sorry, with black, Mars black. Then with gold, and then with more Mars black. I might finish with a gold layer on the top. Okay. Next in with the greens. So I put gold in the bottom, so I'm going to start with my darker green, but just a small layer. Then in with the pistachio on top. Back to the emerald by Deco Art. Back to pistachio. And then the emerald. Okay. Now to the blues. Now I've got the gold and the emerald blue in the, uh, sorry, the emerald green in the bottom. So I am gonna start with the lighter blue. Then in with the phalo. Back in with the light blue. Phalo, and then my light blue. There we go. That is my cup layered. Now I'm going to put my base coat onto my canvas. So let's do that first. There we go. One flooded canvas, and that is flooded with the Blick white. Now let's take our split cup with our blues, blacks, and our greens. And I'm not going to ring this one. This one's going to be a straight pour. So I'm going to start in the middle and then see how the composition comes out. And I'm going to be turning this because it's on a lazy Susan. Let's give this a go. Mars Black is really awesome. Here comes the Phalo Blue. That pistachio is beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
a lovely emerald green. Okay, this is the end of my cup now because here's the light blue. And the gold and the green that I put in at the bottom. Okay, let's quickly torch this before we start spinning this bad boy out. Will you also stretch it a little bit um, after I mean, spinning it? Maybe not, we're gonna see. I, it's hard for me to say until I see the composition. Um, but what I am gonna do real quick is just bring the weight of the paint back down to the middle just in case it slipped a little. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Painting people, let's spin this out and see what happens. the weight of the paint just ever so slightly. You can see how much shimmer there is on this. It's so cool. Okay. Love. <laughs> what did you say? Honk if you love. That's awesome. Okay, I think this is going to be one last spin and I think I might actually be done. I love the rings of the gold, the emerald, the Mars black. Let's just see if I can take just a little bit extra off. I love what's happening in the middle, which is really awesome, with the really cool cells that are coming out. Hmm, yeah, I love this. I think this is really cool. I love how that pistachio has interacted with the phalo blue. It looks really cool. Um, let me bring this up a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see just how much shimmer there is in this. Um, I'm not going to stretch it out because I don't really think it needs to. I'm just going to change the composition of the middle ever so slightly, but I don't really want to lose any of my rings. Because I love the way that it's interacted with all the colors. I'm just going to take it down just ever so slightly, just to open up the middle. Hmm. What do you think, Jeremy? I think it's gorgeous. Would you keep spinning? Nope. I know you would say no. You're such a chicken when it comes to the spin. I, I think it. I think that the whirlpool effect that it has yeah. that goes around. I think that if you stretch it out or spin it anymore, you're going to lose a lot of that effect. You are. 
yeah, I just, I w I, the only thing I would have wanted to have done, done, and I can still do this, is maybe just fix up the edges just ever, ever so slightly, just with another spin. So that, I'm just gonna do one more. Sure. Perfect. Okay, that's perfect, that's spot on. That's all I needed. Okay. I love it. I really, really love those colors. I am so excited about the way that the composition has come out. I like that kind of thicker black Mars black line. And when we take you in for the close up, you'll be able to see all of the shimmer from the emerald and the Mars black and the gold on here. So I am done. I'm gonna get Jeremy to move my lazy Deborah out of the way. I'm gonna clean up my edges and then we're gonna take you in for a close up. All right, guys, it is Jeremy here, and um, I'm so excited about this leaky cup. I got my cup with my holes all drilled into it that I did, and... Uh, and then you hot glued like a cap of something on I the did, bottom. I hot glued a cap. Um, yeah, this is, oh, geez. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now I have my fixed leaky cup. <laughs> <laughs> got the strength of 10 men. <laughs> I'm not going to play with the bottom of it. But okay, so i got my leaky cup here. It's all like ready to go. Um, I am going to flood my canvas right now. And um, I will do that. And there it is, a flooded canvas. The magic of TV. The magic of TV. All right, we already went over the colors. As you can see them here in all the cups, we have that pistachio green, emerald green, gold, this light blue, this charcoal uh, black, and this beautiful blue. Uh, phalo blue. Phalo blue. So I got my leaky cup. I'm going to stick it somewhere right here in the center. A little bit closer to you. That's that. Um, and let's go ahead. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the charcoal black first. Now you use the same paints as me, but you just took my paint and watered it down. So it's like a, almost like a Dutch pour consistency. I correct? did. Okay. I did. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of gold next. And then I'm going to go in with blue. This side seems to be going crazy. Because that's where you poured it. I'm trying to keep it even. Yeah, you put it straight through the middle. Here it comes. Wow, this blue is just so, so beautiful. Now I'm gonna do the darker green. This pistachio.
Now, when I pick this up, that paint's gonna come out. So I'm gonna turn it into a spiral as I pick it up. And the chopstick, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. And see how it still has the white paint right here? Because that's where the cap was, right? Because that's where the cap was. So I'm going to... You know what, I think I should probably try to get rid of some of that white paint in the center. All right, let's see what happens with that. <sighs> it's tilting time. I'm in love with this. I'm absolutely in love with this. Um, I have to get my corners better, uh, but I think it worked out perfectly. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this whole thing. Yeah. I think it's stunning. I love how you can still see all the gold and the metallics through oh, it. Yeah. I think it's going to start lacing up. Oh, yeah. I love that you've still got the gold in the middle. I've got to somehow get that Pin back in again. Pin back. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of my pins fell out of the bottom over here, so I gotta like somehow very carefully do that. We can do that. Do yeah. you wanna um, torch it, clean torch up your it, edges, take the them edges. in for a close up? Yes. So there you have it, folks. Two more pause, one more episode down. 
Um, and that was our split cup and leaky cup. Um, tell yeah. me about that leaky cup again, Jeremy. How did you enjoy it? It's the second I time love, around for you. Love doing the leaky cup. I think it just comes out so well. Um, every time I do a leaky cup, like the second, well, the second time that I have done this leaky cup, I thought it was a huge success. Right. Um, I love that whole floral kind of design that comes out with it. Um, I'm definitely going to do more of those uh, off camera and on camera. Right. I'd like to see some smaller canvas leaky cups okay and just see like on a 12 by 12 if you can keep the whole flower without like tilting the, the composition you know like mm. almost like fiona does in a way so so keep going and keep going to the point where you can keep as much of the paint on the canvas without tilting it and see what happens we can try yeah i'd like to see that that'd be really interesting and it's so funny the two leaky cups were actually the two fastest selling pieces I know. um so we've even sold his leaky cup before you guys have even got to see it which is kind of crazy really yeah. um so yeah i'm super excited about that well yeah. done fantastic um why don't we take you in to see the pieces so that you can see them for yourself yeah all right lee what tell us about this amazing piece that you did well thank you sir i will um this is my split cup mm -hmm. using the colors that we both just used um I really love the split cup. I'm getting better at it as we go. Um, I still want to play around with the compositions. You know, um, some artists talk about this worm that you can get on the canvas when you do a split cup. Um, but I like how we got those like fingerling cells mm -hmm. um, on this one. Um, there's not too much black, but it's border, sorry, too much gold, but it's borderline too much gold there in the middle. But I really like how it's sold with the, um, with the um, emerald green by Deco Art. Yeah. So yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. And what? That's using too much gold? I know, what, what is the prize? <laughs> so Jeremy, your second attempt at the leaky cup. Tell me about it. You know, I just absolutely love this leaky cup. Um, it always comes out with these amazing looking floral designs that I'm just in love with. Uh, I think whenever I was tilting this, I think I uh, had a little bit too much paint on the canvas, but I got a little crazy. I accidentally tilted a lot of like, it was just kind of like went all over the place. Um, so next time I just have to be a little slower. Right. Um, but I love the petals and I love this green and this gold in the center. Um, I just think it came out really, really well. I'm, I'm more excited to see you try this more and more. Yeah. Um, because you are, you are constantly getting these really cool flowers in the middle, which is really great. Yeah, but I really enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gents, there you go there with the dried pieces. We hope that you love them as much as we did. And we really, really love these colors. I know. So we've just had a little bit of a conversation off, off camera and decided that we're going to use exactly the same colors yep. in the next episode. Yeah. We're just going to use them in two different techniques. So you're actually going to see four paintings using exactly the same color with four different techniques. Yes. One of the reasons why we started the Matty Art Studio channel was because we wanted to give you guys the opportunity to see that you don't need a ton of different different types and different colors of paints to make a ton of different pieces of art exactly. and so hopefully with these next two episodes you'll see that just with those five or six colors you can produce a ton of different art tons of different ways so um yeah come and join us again to see those pieces in the next episode and if you haven't liked and subscribed please do we really appreciate you we're on the cusp of 4,000 subscribers which is almost halfway to our goal of 10,000 I know which is our next mini goal so um we appreciate you thank you for being here thank you for watching with the premiere for us and we will see you here for the very next episode until then have a great day everyone bye guys thank you so everyone we wanted to take a second to mention some very special people and that's yep. our patrons so at the gold level we have jane klein we have janice pittman we have janice swansea and we have leslie bever and our platinum mp the massey posse is sparkle and to everyone else down below thank you so much for wanting to take an extra special interest in yeah. the massey art studio we appreciate your patronage thank you so much